Baby, Lonnie, what God has for you, honey, no man can stop. again since it's just really easy for it to just you know do what it needs to do kind of dry out that way and I ordered from what is it called corny vibes there we go so I ordered from this place called corny vibes and they have some really good vegan options like chicken options so I like it let me um I need to fry oh, oh my god it's so oily and nasty but good <laughs> So I ordered um, the BFC box instead of KFC vegan fried chicken and it comes with like two lemon pepper wings and mm, good. I think one regular and one hot. So I'm going to just try out all this with y'all. I'm going to eat and do a little chit chat, you know, nighttime vibes. Um, when I was at HEB. I have picked up a green juice as well because look I needed some nutrients today I knew I would go eat till later so this hopefully will balance out all of this <laughs> mm. I got my favorite juice it's the greens or cucumber pineapple green juice it's like the pineapple and the cucumber are like heavy and then like I think the kale is like in the background, can't really taste it too much. And then there's not a lot of apple. So I love it. It's like the most refreshing green juice at HEB. Cause they have like three, maybe four different versions. So anyway, let's dig in. <laughs> Hopefully I'm focused. If not, y'all can hear me. Y'all see me all day. Y'all know what I look like. We should be good. So let me try the lemon pepper. Cause honey, lemon pepper is bomb. And I'm gonna just dip it in the mashed potatoes let me get a little hmm, y'all need to see a double camp action right here just dip it in the potato come on stick you need to stick <laughs> yum mmm yep 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 that is so good it tastes like lemon pepper but like they season their meat i think it's a mix between wheat and soy it's not like 100 percent seitan but i like soy meat and it's so is it safe flavored it so well and like salted bright mm. 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 now I wish this combo came with a biscuit to really be like KFC. Don't be playing me with no mac, macaroni and mashed potatoes, extra fry, when I really wanted a biscuit. That would have really slapped, but. Mm. Let me get a few bites in and then I'll start talking. This barbecue sauce is hitting. Like, really, really good. And then I have the mac and cheese. I'm not no mac and cheese girl, I'm not gonna lie. I've never liked it in my whole life. But I didn't see it on the menu earlier, so this is my first time trying it. It smells hella oniony. And then let's just see. Alright, y'all wanna get my real reaction. It's not mac and cheese. It's more like onion noodle casserole. <laughs> But it's not bad. Um, the noodles are slightly overcooked. I like my noodles al dente. But not bad. 
bad. I'm gonna like put it over here though. <laughs> get on into the side, but it ain't bad, but. But anyway, you guys, I just wanted to get real with y'all. Um, and just kind of chit chat about life, my life in particular. If you want to talk about your life as well, or if you, you know, resonate with something I say today, then definitely let me know. Mm. I want to dip into some barbecue. Mm. That's good. Mmm. They also have this corny sauce, but um, it's like a mayo based, you know, whatever sauce it is. Basically, like a dressed up mayo. I hear, I mean, I taste garlic. Definitely some, some garlic in there. And whatever else we got. Go mm on. -mm -mm. get into some tea while I eat and my life tea so my name is diamond in case y'all didn't know <laughs> and I am 27 years old I currently am a teacher by day but by night I'm trying to get the hell out of the classroom <laughs> like don't get me wrong I love teaching it's you know I've been teaching for like four and a half years now well, this will be my four and a half year. Because I started officially, officially, December 2018. So I came in a little later. But, um, and I worked at an alternative school. And honey, I had no teaching experience. I didn't go to college for teaching. I went to college for nutrition, actually. I thought I wanted to be a registered dietitian, but they didn't make enough money. So I was like, eh. And I had a whole gap year, child after college um yeah i went to u of h right here in my backyard and then um i had um i was in a long distance relationship i was actually engaged honey in a previous life but that ended i was 22 thank god it ended because honey no like chava um and i've been single ever since <laughs> And I'm happily single. Like, you don't find too many 27 year olds who are just happy and single. Um, and I took a lot of, honestly, not even self work. I was just like, when somebody is not on your vibrational level or they don't match you, you get tired around them easily. So, as soon as I got out of that relationship or ended after two years, child back, and during my gap year, this is during my gap year, I was like, the world is my oyster. So, like, I had moved to Florida with my mom that year, 2017. Um, I traveled. I went to Thailand. I started bartending school my gap year. I just did a bunch of random stuff. I folded white people clothes. <laughs> I managed, <laughs> meaning I managed a um, dry cleaning shop on the beach. Like, I had a lot of hustles, you know. Um, broke. I was super broke. I was living with my mom. She's like, you need a job, you need a job. So, um, I got me a job working, folding laundry and dealing with dry cleaning for a hot minute right before I got into being a parent professional. Then while I was working on my teaching license for like all of six, seven weeks. So I was like, being a parent professional, they don't pay at all. Um, basically they were like teacher assistants. Um, my Florida teaching, that's one of the main reasons, and I'm going to make a whole video about this, probably the next video I make, or two videos from now, why I moved to Florida, I mean, why I moved back to Texas, is because teaching in Florida, base pay for me, at where I'm at, was about 48000 and at the time, it started at 43000 like five years ago, being a new teacher would get you 43000 now it's up to about 47, 48, which is terrible, because Florida economy is extremely expensive. But Texas, 
new teachers, especially in a district, all in the Houston area, her name, minimum is 60. Minimum is 60 going up to, as a new teacher, with zero years experience, going up to about 65. Honey. And then, if you teach math or science like I do, districts are giving you $4,500 bonuses just to work in that district, like, so do the math. Like, I'm, my, my butter, my bread is butter in Texas, you know? Just job security, more money, and the cost of living is hella low. So, that's one of the reasons why I moved back. But, I got into teaching because my mom has been teaching for like 30 years now. And I know it was easy money. She knew I could do it. There's always a need for um, science and math teachers. And I'm really good at science and math. But I chose science. And that's got me far. Mm -hmm. And I even went to grad school. Got halfway through to grad school because I wanted to be a principal at the time. And then I'm like, eh, I don't want to work for the man anymore. You know, so I quit. And then just recently, meaning like a week or two ago, I thought about going back to the point where I submitted my application again to go back in. Since I hadn't been back to school, like I quit last summer. I was like, I have six, seven classes away from graduating. But my MED, and something in me just told me no. So I quit. Because my truth is that I am in a self-discovery part of my life where I need to know myself and a part of who I am I am an Aquarius so I'll get more into that later because I've been doing a lot of self research during this whole Thanksgiving break meaning I've finally been doing deep work on myself but I've been in grime mode moving here is was hella stressful not in there weren't any hiccups it was a seamless you know process but moving for anybody especially I was by myself you know, leaving the nest, that was that was kind of difficult. Um, I mean, of course, living by myself is great. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, you know, that whole process of moving and then finding out a new team, you know, being a part of the entry person in the science team is like was a little tough. So you're figuring out, figuring out who is who, who you can trust, who you don't talk to. It's just a lot. Um... And then Hayes new teachers too, meaning even if you're the most highly recommended teacher, if you're new at a district or new at a campus, they're going to haze you, meaning they're going to do walkthroughs in your room more than everybody else's. So that's what I was going through, just a lot. But now that I've settled down, I'm in a group of things. Um, and it's crazy because like, um, I had risen to the ranks in Florida. Within a year and a half of teaching, I was promoted to department chair. <laughs> Honey, got everybody mad because there was like 40, 50 year old biddies, and I was like 23, 24 at the time. Get everybody mad, child. They was like, she don't deserve it. She a new teacher, but baby, learning what God has for you, honey. No man can stop. So, <laughs> so your girl's department chair out there in Florida for a hot minute on my alternative school campus. Meaning, your girl was holding it down at an alternative school. Y'all know what alternative school is. Baby, those dropout kids, baby, honey. It's like in the streets, honey. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, I don't know why God called me to teaching because my mom had been trying to recruit me to teaching for so long. But I literally was like, oh, hell no. Like, this is not for me. Like, bye. Get your life. I need to do something else. But it's crazy how I ended up in teaching. Because, first of all, I never thought, but it's, it's good money. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm 27 years old. And you know, making high sixty thousands, like I can pay my bills. I can live in a bougie area. I live literally in one of the hottest parts of Houston. Literally, just I'm looking at sky rises. But I'm looking at them. I'm looking at buildings tall. You know, like I'm right in the hot spot of like literally. I'm looking at my window and it's like it's jumping. So I love where I live. It's able to teaching has been able to afford me my move and stability but i am no longer looking for stability in my life right now and now that i'm having time to reflect i'm moving into entrepreneurship and moving into getting as many side hustles as i can mm. oh baby oh oh my feet mm. oh oh it's spicy oh y'all oh Oh, I got a kick. Ooh, 
time, but it's good. Oh. Oh, that's spicy. Woo. Oh my God. I love teaching. I even love the idea of being an administrator and I'm in another life. I would work myself up to be superintendent by the time I'm 40, 45. But that's not the life that has been called for me that I feel deep down in my gut. I know like financial freedom, just having the opportunity to choose what I do every time I wake up and enjoy God's day. I'm not stopping to feel that until literally I'm in control of when I go to work, when I wake up, what time I have to be here, what when can I, you know, go to bed, like all when can I vacation, how long can I vacation, how much money I make. These are all factors that I am am in the pursuit of. Or not really pursuit of I'm attracting them to me because baby, get you a dream board look I have and I, and I look at that thing multiple times a day, like I'm not even playing. I script now. And I love scripting because literally the Bible even speaks on scripting. Write your vision down, keep it in front of you, and then that'll manifest. So I've been really manifesting financial freedom. One of the big things I've been kind of getting into is first of all, I um y'all don't know, y'all better buy you Robert um Kiyosaki books, cha. The author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. But you also have a book that I almost I am almost done with, and it's called um why A students work for C students and B students work for the government. And child, a straight A student. And according to that book, like child, I can't, I'm not even gonna reveal too much. I don't even want it to be a book talk They'll right now in this video. But I learned so much about ways to get to, to be financially free. And one of the big ways he talks about is definitely get, branching into real estate. So, your girl has signed up for one of his real estate courses. Ah, ah. That was a whole 300. But, even though my money is funny right now as a teacher, meaning I'm paying all my bills, living in an expensive area by choice, just got a new car by choice, got like $20,000 of the furniture by choice, because I'm bougie, I mean, I'm just saying. But, I'm really trying to be financially free and like get, get to the point where I'm like wealthy and healthy and honey, black and beautiful in America, child. Honey, I got, honey. Black and beautiful. That's what, two out of four? <laughs> but I need to get to me a wealthy out here. So I'm branching into learning how, about real estate investing with my limited finances. Um, also, I'm trying to grow my wealth outside. Basically, have I'm, I'm creating multiple streams of income for myself. Meaning, I'm going back to Amazon KDP. I, um, for y'all, y'all don't know, I have a line of covering books and journals that I be selling, honey. And because I stopped that, the money stopped. But I gotta go back on that so, so the money can keep going. But, y'all, I'm not trying to, like, work for the man all my life. Like, I'm really, I'm giving myself three years tops to keep being in the school system. I'm just working for anybody, period, before my side hustles and my businesses become full-time. Um... And that's kind of what I've been working on behind the scenes. And it's giving me like mad anxiety, I'm not going to lie, because it takes a lot of work, y'all. Like, if y'all think being overnight, you're not going to get be successful overnight. Like, it was just going to take hours and hours and days and days of hustling and grinding. Mind you, it can be t mentally taxing. But I'm going to continue to keep my visions and my goals in front of me. And I pray that one day, within the next two to three years, like I'm manifesting, like I'm doing now, finally, finally taking my side hustle seriously, that I can be free, just free from the shackles of the classroom or any, working for anybody. Like, y'all, that is exhausting. It's exhausting. And I want to be my own boss. Um, and get into real estate investing, because that's the ultimate, like, I have all these projects going on. But at the end of the day, once I become a real estate investor, I'm trying, I'm trying to kick rocks. 
look, I'm trying to buy apartment complexes. I'm trying to buy apartment buildings to bring generational wealth to my family, to my future progeny, take care of my whole family. Like, I got big goals and big dreams, and you know, I know I can do it. It's just gonna take some hustling, and you know, a lot of me fighting through depression too. Cause again, just feel like the work and the grind is never ending. And I know if I keep going and working hard, I will experience the fruit of my labor. But child, like it's so hard just getting to that point. Like mentally, I be like this past week, I was extremely depressed. That's why I didn't vlog. Because I was like, I don't want to be in front of people, you know, they're going to know me um, and be hella depressed. But, like, be, mental health issues, you know, they're real. Um, and I'm just going through it. Like, you know, some days are better than others. Um, I have extreme anxiety as well. Just about my future and money. Specifically, money is my trigger. When I feel like my money is tightening up, I feel like it's, like, choking me out. And I'm like... I get super depressed and super anxious, so I'm learning to just fight through that by being as productive and creative as I can in my free time so that I don't have to feel as anxious if I'm busy working on one of my projects. Because um, when I'm still, like if I'm just going to work and in my evenings I'm still, I'm not doing anything, like I'm just chilling, like I don't, I, that's when my anxiety builds up the most. Um, so I'm learning to like fight my anxiety just about my future and like am I going to actually hit my dreams? Will I actually be financially free? Will I, you know, build an awesome and amazing community on YouTube to the point where my content gets monetized and that's a stream of income. You know, like, these are all goals I have and they seem really lofty because I'm just starting out, but, and they can definitely wear my mental health for sure. Like, I'm not, like, don't let this smile fool you. I know I'll be bubbly and happy all the time, which I am. That is a part of who I am. That's not a front. Anytime I'm like, <laughs> on a camera you know like <laughs> that is who i am but i don't want you guys to think that that is all that i am without putting into context that like i'm fighting through anxiety and also depression about my future and am i going to make it through to my goals when i want when i say i'm going to um so there's definitely a juxtaposition i think i'm happy because i know sadness and when you know sadness that is the negative context to feel the opposite end of the spectrum. Hopefully that doesn't sound too woo woo, but like you can't you can't know one without the other. Um, so when I am happy, that is because I know sadness and vice versa. When you're sad, I know that I will be happy and sadness doesn't last forever. So that's what gets me going, knowing that like it don't rain always. Um, and that's where I'm at right now. So um, yeah, I'm trying to get out but the classroom, y'all, just get out of the whole idea of being an administrator, and superintendent, and just being like, you know what? Let's double down on my side hustle. Do what I love. And just eat, grub, chow, and also, like, talk to people. I am extremely introverted now. Don't get it twisted, honey. If y'all pull up on the street, y'all, you know, see me on the streets, I'll be like, hey, y'all. But, honey, on the inside, I get drained by people. Like, I get drained easily. Um, and that's another thing about being self-aware. And, honey, y'all need to, like, you know, when your free time look up character traits about yourself or if you don't know like i feel like if you don't know who you are and if i don't know who i am as an eternal being nothing else matters like life goes on through before this lifetime after this lifetime on earth like if i don't really understand who i am and my essence even if it goes down to zodiac or enneagrams or personality tests just all of these things if i don't know that and I don't know my deepest desires as an eternal being who doesn't cease to living, you know, money doesn't matter. So I'm battling like two things, like self-discovery and I'm also battling like financial scarcity and just pushing through that and trying to fight with my mantra saying like I am abundant and you know, it just takes a lot of work you guys. It takes a lot of work to be high vibrational because the world's going to beat you down, okay? It just, whether it's money, whether it's people, trifling people, whether it's, you know, you're not feeling happy in, you know, where you're at in life, like life beats you down. And it takes so much work, y'all. 
for me to be high vibrational. Like I, I'm constantly being. I think the biggest thing for me, mm, the spicy one is my favorite for sure. Mm. The biggest thing for me is just learning how to be grateful for what I have. When I'm more grateful than not, it's easier to fight through depressing thoughts and my anxiety. Now that takes work too, because when I feel like a panic attack's coming on, or if I feel like really dark, oh my god, I'll never make it out. Oh my god, this will be my life always. I'll, you know, just these negative thoughts. I learned that like the truth has to be the opposite of that. The reason, and I might be close to a breakthrough. The reason why I'm getting bombarded with so many negative thoughts. So that's kind of how I see it. It's like. Yeah, that's kind of what helps me. Stay grateful for what I have. And know that, like, God is going, like, God really is good. And I just want to continue to trust him as I figure out my late 20s, figure out my life. And rebranding myself in this pivotal part of my life where I'm not in a relationship. I don't have no dogs, no cats, no nothing, no, no living animals. Like, I live by myself. Um... I don't have no drama anywhere in my life at all. Like it, I've been, in, I've had a peaceful life ever since my breakup, like five years ago. I haven't been beefing with nobody. I have, you know, been on my like high vibration life. I've been super undistracted by life. And child, if I if I start dating again, whew, this is a tangent, but if I start dating again, he gonna have to be like next to Jesus, cause baby. Like, he will have to add more peace to my life than what I'm adding already because I live a very happy life single. Honey, chew on that. Now, a lot of people my age, I, I don't know if it's a like hormones raging, I don't know what it is, but when you know peace like this, you don't sacrifice that for nothing, no one, no man, woman, infant, child, cat, or dog. Honey, but... I, I'm just in a part where I'm just figuring out myself, y'all. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. I know this was a kind of chatty vlog. Um, and this is normally not my... Oh, potatoes went everywhere. Mm. This is normally not my style. I like highly edited videos, you know, that show me going around town. But I have to throw this in here just to show y'all that I'm a real person too. And I want to focus on building a foundation of people and a community of people who know my real side as well. And not just a hey, 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 period poo. Like that is who I am, but I'm also like a complete op completely the opposite of that. <laughs> and a lot of people when they get to know me like or I don't let a lot of people in. So they think I'm always bubbly extroverted. But the truth is I'm really deep and I'm really introverted. And I'm a deep, deep thinker. Like, I don't feel too much, but I'm a thinker. I'm always in my head. I don't know if that's the Aquarius in me, just being the air sign. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm very, like, I don't want to say emotionless, but I'm just thinking all the time. I'm not a feeler. Like, my, I, I can feel, but that's not what my go-to is. Like, I, I think through things and overthink. And, child, I'm making it through life, and I hope you guys are, too. Sound off in the comments or any of you guys, you know, do you struggle with depression and anxiety? Or if you're in my age group or age range or older, like, you know, have you ever felt like you wanted to be financially free? Um, and, you know, how is that going for you if you have? Or if, if you love your job, tell me, let me know. You know, I want to know, you know, who's watching <laughs> my, my content as well. Like, let me know. Sound off. But, yeah, we're going to build a foundation of realness over here. Where when I'm happy, I'm happy. But when I'm not, I'm just gonna film it, like point and shoot and film and talk through it. Hopefully, I can help somebody, or hopefully, somebody can relate to me, and we can just build a community of you know, of the same energy. So on that note, I'm going to sign out. Shut my green juice right quick. Hold on. Oh my god, I love green juice. This is the best green juice. I don't want to make it myself. If this is the best one I've ever had, but um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you for listening this far if you have, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. 
Yeah, I'm also gonna let me finish up my little food. Even though I'm full, I'm gonna get a few more bites in. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I really appreciate y'all. And thank you for uh, letting me be real and open and honest. I appreciate that. Mm. Bye. Mm. Let me get this regular one. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, babe. Mm. That's fine.